Good morning. Welcome to e-learning. I am P. Sakthivel, Assistant Professor, Department of Tripoli, Tandai Periyar Government Institute of Technology, Vellur. Today's topic, AC to AC Converter. AC to AC Converter means the input is AC and output also be AC. There are two types of AC to AC Converters. First one, AC Voltage Controller and the second one, Cyclo Converters. AC Voltage Controllers AC Voltage Controllers are thyristor based devices which convert fixed alternating voltage into variable alternating voltage without a change in frequency. Types of AC Voltage Controllers Based on Supply, Single Phase AC Voltage Controller and Three Phase AC Voltage Controller Types of Control Phase Control and Integral Cycle Control Principle of Phase Control Phase Control of SCR means by varying the firing angle alpha, the phase relationship between the start of the load current and the supply voltage can be controlled. Single Phase Off Wave AC Voltage Controller Here, the thyristor T1 and diode D1 are anti-parallelly connected. T1 is controlled device and D1 is uncontrolled device. This T1 controls the positive off cycle and during the negative off cycle this D1 conducts and it is uncontrolled device. It is the power circuit diagram of off wave AC voltage controller. Because half of the device is controlled device and half of the device is uncontrolled device. The first one, this is V0 is the output voltage and I0 is the output current. Both are in phase because of the resistive load. Here the positive off cycles are controlled and negative off cycles are uncontrolled. Disadvantages of off wave AC voltage controller. Positive off cycle is not identical with negative off cycle for both voltage and current waveform because positive off cycle is controlled and negative off cycle is uncontrolled. So both are not identical. As a result, DC component is introduced in the supply and load circuits, which is undesirable. Next one, single phase full wave AC voltage controller. In full wave AC voltage controller, both the devices are controlled devices. This two controlled devices are connected in anti-parallel and connected in series with the load resistance. Here both the off cycles are controlled. That is positive off cycle is controlled by T1 and negative off cycle is controlled by T2. So here positive off cycle is identical with negative off cycle for both voltage and current waveform. As a result, no DC component is introduced in the supply and load circuit which is a desirable future. Principle of integral cycle control. In integral cycle control, the load is connected to the source for some on cycles say n equal to 2 and disconnected for some off cycles say m equal to 3. That is for two cycles it is connected. For three cycles, it is disconnected. Then the RMS value of the output voltage V suffix OR, V naught R is given by Vs into square root of K, where K equal to N divided by N plus M, where Vs is the RMS value of the supply voltage, where V naught R is the RMS value of the output voltage. Advantages of integral cycle control. In integral cycle control, it introduces less harmonics in the supply system. This method is used for heating loads and for motor control drives. Applications of AC voltage controllers Domestic and industrial heating, transformer tap changing, lighting control, starting of induction motors and speed control of single phase and three phase AC drives. Next one, cyclo converter, the second type of AC to AC converter. A device which converts the input power at one frequency to 
output power at different frequency with one stage conversion is called cycloconverter. So, a cycloconverter is a one stage frequency changer. From the name itself, it is understood that it converts the cycle. Cycle means frequency. So, cycloconverter is a one stage frequency converter. Basic types of cycloconverter. There are two basic types of cycloconverters step down cycloconverter and step up cycloconverter. And based on the supply, the cycloconverters can be classified as single phase cycloconverter, which means the input is single phase AC and output is also single phase AC. Three phase cycloconverter, where input is three phase AC and output is also three phase AC. And the last one is three phase to single phase cycloconverter. Input is three phase AC and output is single phase AC. But we are changing the frequency. Single phase to single phase cycloconverter. There are two types of power circuits. One is midpoint type and another one is bridge type. So here we are using midpoint transformer. Here we are using bridge circuit. The power circuit, whether it is midpoint or bridge type, is common for both step down and step up cycloconverter. It is the waveform for step up cycloconverter. This outer line, this is the envelope of the supply voltage. So, up to this one complete input supply voltage. Within this one input supply voltage, the output as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 output pulses. So, for one input complete cycle, the output has 6 output complete cycles. So, here the output frequency is greater than the input frequency. In step up cycle converter, the output frequency F0 is greater than the input supply frequency Fs. That is F0 greater than Fs. In this case, F0 output frequency equal to 6 times of the input frequency. It is the waveform for step down cycloconverter. For one complete output cycle of output voltage, it requires 1, 2, 3, 4 input cycles. So, it comes under step down cycloconverter. In step down cycloconverter, the output frequency F0 is lower than the input supply frequency Fs. That is F0 less than Fs. Here, F0 equal to Fs by 4. Application of cycloconverter. Speed control of high power AC drives, induction heating, static VR generation and aircraft power supply in order to convert the variable frequency to fixed frequency. Thank you.